one tonight. Going to be in a big 12. We'll focus on Iowa State as they are now laying five against uh, West Virginia that came oh so close to upending Kansas, but it just wasn't meant to be. 134 is the total, 9 o'clock Eastern time tip, and Iowa State lately can't buy a win here. Uh, Three-game losing streak, I believe, here. Uh, and now they got to take on a West Virginia team that they're only 5-11 and 11 in the Big 12, Merrill, but... Man, they got a lot of wins. What is those so-called quadrant one wins uh, working in their favor this year? So it's certainly not a do or die spot for them for making the tournament. But who do you give the edge to in this one? Yeah, it's crazy to think a 16 and 13 team, who, by the way, I think will be 16 and 14 after tonight and is four and nine, most likely four and 10 on the road tonight is locked into the tournament. So we'll, we'll see how that plays out. They do have Kansas State on deck in their home finale. Uh, as you mentioned, Joe, a tough near miss at Kansas, losing by just two, and they haven't been a good road team. Almost pulled that upset. I do think this is a tough spot. Second road game in three nights for a team that's not good on the road. And there's also other reasons like Iowa State here. First of all, they've got revenge. It's something we always look at with quality teams. I do think Iowa State's a quality team, 17 and 11, 13 and two at home, strong home court with revenge. And it's a last home game spot. Um, so it'll be a focus spot here. So really good revenge spot for Iowa State. And I also like the matchup. Iowa State's one of the slowest half-court teams in the country. West Virginia in the upper third as far as fast-paced teams, up-tempo. Not a good matchup here. West Virginia got them on their home court by five earlier this year, but I don't think history repeats itself. I like Iowa State in this one. All right, like an Iowa State to get it done uh, at home here. Tony Finn, um, are you a believer in this Iowa State team uh, getting it done at home here? Well, I, I, I always have been. Uh, I think the Hilton magic is real, but uh, this has been a team that's kind of disappointed me as in recent games. West Virginia under Huggy Bear, always tough. I, this is a difficult matchup, I think, for an Iowa State team, even at the Hilton. Um, West Virginia, they are who they are. They've always been under Huggy Bear, a physical team. This one's a little different in the fact that they, you know, they – they don't seem competitive at times on the road. Now they were very competitive in that Kansas game, albeit a surprise. They were late. They were down by almost double digits late, and they made a couple buckets. Made it appear to be really close, but for the most part in that game, Kansas controlled it from start to finish. Um, Iowa State all of a sudden this is a good defensive club. All of a sudden they can't seem to defend without fouling, and this is a team West Virginia. You don't want to foul. They go to the line. That's really how they won um, in this this the first match between these two. Again. This is going to come down to execution. Who's going to defend a, a better, really, in the paint, at the rim? And uh, when it comes to Iowa State at Hilton, with the line being basically a pick em, I'm going to have to lean with the home team. Leaning with the home team here. That's uh, two for Iowa State there, uh, mid-major, Matt. You know how this works. If you pick Iowa State, we are running to the window here to back <laughs> West Virginia. So tell me, where are you leaning in this one, Matty? Uh, I, I mean, I kind of do lean to West Virginia just a little bit. I mean, obviously, it's something I'm not going to play, and it's a bit of a concern that they're coming off the game at Kansas. But, I mean, it's just kind of, you know, West Virginia's been a pest so far this season, it feels like, in a lot of these games, you know, losing by four at TCU and losing by one at Oklahoma. And I think Tony touched on it, you know, the fact that West Virginia is going to be able to get to the line against Iowa State. It's actually in both directions. West Virginia is 338th in defensive fouling, essentially, and Iowa State is 334th. So, you could see both of these teams to try and take advantage of that situation. If you get the right officials tonight, the over might be worth a look. Now, the problem is if you get the wrong officials, these two offenses will make your eyes bleed, it feels like. And so <laughs> the over would certainly be a tough thing to take. But there's a lot of points here. I think it's almost in West Virginia range because I think getting to the free throw line will help them equalize in this situation. Yeah, it's going to be intriguing here. Big 12 uh, on uh, on focus here tonight. Can they break uh, that three-game losing streak? Iowa State get one in the win column on the home court. We shall see, though. We're seeing fives across the board here, guys. 9 o'clock Eastern time tip on that one.